These are the best pens for school, I think. These are the Lammies. But we all need cheap pens because you lose pens. You lend them to your mates and you're not gonna lend your mate the Lammies. So what's the best cheap pen for school? Is it worth spending a little bit extra to get these uniball rollable pens or should you go for the cheaper imitation option? These are some of my favorite pens to actually write with. I really like the way that they just feel to write. I like the wet ink feeling. This is the uniball rollable micro. And right now on Amazon, it's $8.99 for five. This is the Deli Rollable. It's the same size, it looks the same, and really it feels pretty similar to write with as well. And these are $8.99. 12. So the question is, is it worth you actually spending that little bit more to get the premium and original brand? Actually, it doesn't say it anywhere, but it says the brand on Amazon is New Doer. Certainly isn't these ones though, is it? <laughs> so if you ask your mate to lend you a pen, you're happy for anything. These are pretty cheap. These are the big kind of, you know, boxes that you get. And if your school lends you a pen, it's probably going to be something like that. Or if you're lucky, your friend might lend you one of these cheap clicky pens. But really, they're both absolutely horrible to use, aren't they? If your friend lends you one of these, this is one of my favorite pens, the Uniball Micro or any of the kind of equivalent. Oh, this is the Mr. Bishy. <laughs> they're actually really nice to write with, aren't they? I mean, you, you enjoy writing more when you use a pen that feels nice in the hand. These are too thin and they end up hurting your hand and they you know, make those horrible scratchy lines that you, know, you can never enjoy writing with these things. These are a bit thicker and everything like that, but you know, it's just cheap kind of biro, uh, dry ink that's horrible to use. But these kind of rollerballs with the nice wet ink, you, know, you feel like you've got a flow to your writing and that's a much more enjoyable sensation. The problem is these are at least a pound each and uh, these are more like 10p each. So I've been looking for the cheapest possible pen that you can find that I actually enjoy using. This looks exactly like the Uniball, actually writes like the Uniball, it feels like the Uniball, but you can get them a heck of a lot cheaper on Amazon. They feel exactly the same to write with. I suggest this is a good route to go down. There's a link in the description anyway. I think this is the best cheap pen for school. What pens do you like to use? Why not leave a comment below and tell everyone else what your best cheap pen for school is. All right, let's do it. This is cheap pen review. Uh, first of all, this is the Papermate. The Papermate is all right. To be fair, it's actually quite a nice feel to write with, but it's really hard to get it comfortable in your hand. I think they're just too thin and the way they actually feel on the paper is not all that pleasant. But to be honest, you know, if your teacher gives you one of these or if your friend lends you one of these, it's not too bad. I give this a five. But I certainly wouldn't want to do any longer bits of writing with it. Up, it's the nameless clicky pen. You know, you've had many of these. You have probably taken them apart. You've pulled the springs apart. What great fun. Well, actually, they're really rubbish, aren't they? Nobody knows who makes these. They come in packs of 10 from Tesco's. I don't even know how much they cost, but this is a pretty inexpensive pen choice. They do have that thick rubber grip, so it's a bit more comfortable than last time. And also there's that click, because then you can really annoy your teacher by sitting there clicking. Don't do that, it's not cool. And don't buy these pens, because they're not cool either. I'm gonna give them a seven, because they're so cheap. Just so cheap. Next up is the Uniball iMicro, and you know, you know if somebody gives you one of these Uniballs, you are feeling absolutely over the moon. That's a nice pen to write with. That waterproof, fade-proof guarantee from Mr. Busy, is it worth it? That feeling of the wet ink scratching along the page, there's not a lot better than that in the whole school day, is there? It's comfortable, it writes well, there's not a lot wrong with it really, is there, but um, it is too expensive. To be fair though, if your friend lends you this pen, you feel like you're a million dollars. Oh, just give me another question, teacher. I just want to write all day. 
it is really comfortable to write with. You don't get a lot of friction from it, you don't have to press down. It's actually, I find, quite a fluent and fluid way of writing and I think they're really good pens. Yep, I give this pen a solid eight and a half. If it was a little bit cheaper, I would fill my pencil case with these and I would just use this type of pen. So what about the Delhi? Can it keep up? Can it feel exactly the same as the Uniball? Yes, it can. These do feel honestly exactly the same. They may even come out of the same factory. They're that close. Honestly, it's a little bit sad how happy I was when I found these pens and realized that they were just as good as the Uniball iMicro for probably less than half the price. So that's a definite recommend for a school pen that's as close to a 10 out of 10 as you can actually get. And yeah, links in the description for these pens, get yourself a pack that will last you the whole school year. So I'll put a link to both of these in the description and I really think that actually it's well worth you picking up a pack of these cheaper ones because they do feel really, really similar. And then you can feel really good about lending them out to your friends. You can feel really good if you lose them. You don't need to worry too much about them because you bought 12 for just £8.99. I think about it, how do you feel when somebody hands you this or this <laughs> compared to when somebody lends you this cheap clicky pen? I don't even know what brand it is. Or this. Paper mate, these are the common kind of, you know, everyone has loads of them probably handed out by teachers as well. This is the type of pen that you get really tired of writing because it's so small and gripping hold of it is not a really pleasant thing to do. I would suggest that these are well worth a little bit extra from this or this, but it's probably not worth trying to splash out and get these uniball ones there as well. I also think these rollerballs are really nice pens to draw with if you're ever doing any artwork or you want to make nice neat diagrams. I think they're really good pens to go for. Let's just do one more test. Let's do the smudge test. This is the uniball, a bit smudgy, and the deli. Oh yeah, that's massively smudgy. <laughs> so that's pen review. Which pen should you use? Let me know which one you prefer the look of in the comments below. Of course the cheapest pen for school is a free pen. If you know any of your family members, any of your friends who go to industry events, then loads of companies give out free pens with their logo on. So why not ask anyone who goes to that kind of event to pick you up all the free pens that they can. That will be a good stash of cheap pens, <laughs> free pens for you to have in your bag.